Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, the Kiwi dollar is at a five-year low against the US currency. But first, in the US, consumer confidence surged in early June on expectations of a tightening labour market that would result in higher wages, which would in turn stimulate consumer spending and overall economic growth later in the year. This measure has sentiment back at early 2007 levels. American homeowners may be generally out of the woods, but more than 15% of them still have negative equity. However, that is down from over 30% three years ago and a sharp improvement from the December quarter as house prices start to rise in the US. But financial markets are starting to fret about Greece again and the consequences of a default. And they're not only worried about the behaviour of the Greeks, a new worry is that Angela Merkel and her finance minister may also have a fraying relationship over how to handle the situation. And the latest rounds of talks between Greece and the EU officials in Brussels has ended in failure just a few hours ago. Europe is upping the pressure, confronting Greece to make spending cuts worth 2 billion euros to secure a deal of unlocked bailout funds. And they also want Greece to cut their unsustainable pension load, and that is something Athens said it would never accept. The EU wants wage cuts and a VAT hike on electricity as well. However, talks continue and the Greek leader has warned his people to be ready for a difficult compromise. Difficult discussions are also going on in the US Congress after the House narrowly defeated the Trans-Pacific Partnership Fast Track deal. The President is fighting to get things back on track and another vote may be held as soon as Wednesday. And an update on something we first reported a few weeks ago, Chinese consumers are making a very rapid rush to online shopping, upending a business model of many commercial enterprises. Some big names are reporting sales falls of 20% per quarter through normal high margin bricks and mortar outlets as new sales channels, especially via smartphones, disrupt the huge market. Back in New York, US Treasury 10-year benchmark yields fell sharply on Friday as the Greek situation unsettled markets, this time by 9 basis points to 2.39%. This will no doubt be reflected in local long swap rates today. Also down are US oil markets with the US benchmark price back under $60 a barrel and Brent crude is now under $64 a barrel. The gold price, however, is basically unchanged at $1,180 an ounce. However, this morning, the New Zealand dollar starts quite a lot lower and below 70 US cents for the first time since March 2010. And don't forget, in between times, it had 88.2 US cents. This morning, it opens at 69.8 US cents, 90.5 Aussie cents, and itself quite away from parity and is now at 62.1 euro cents. The TWI is at 73.6, although that is only a one year low. The lower Kiwi is really a story about a strong US dollar. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.